Hello, my purple banditos, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Sun and Moon special demo. I'm Purple Rodri. Today, we're going to continue on and begin the trials. Now, last time we looked around, we checked out this place, and we got amazed at how beautiful this demo is. So, let's go ahead and begin the trials, which are said to be a custom here in the, the Alola region that everyone has to go through. So, now that we're here in the trials, let's go ahead and check it out. Looks like a koi is up ahead. How's it going, man? Wild Pokemon will jump right out of the tall grass at you. You're a Pokemon trainer, yeah? So you can battle alongside your partner, Greninja. On the other hand, if you don't want to run into any wild Pokemon, you should avoid walking through the tall grass. Alright, I'll be waiting for you inside 10 Carat Hill. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and make our way. Oh, it looks like we're going to find a Pokemon right away. So let's go see what kind of Pokemon it's going to be. We've seen a couple today. We've seen a pick a peck So let's go ahead and keep on going. There's probably going to be a bunch of new Pokemon in the caves that we're about to check out, too. Imagine if out of nowhere we got a surprise and saw a brand new Pokemon that nobody's ever heard of. I would be so excited about that. Once in a while, I feel like there could be something like that hiding in the grass. And there we go. pick a peck went down. Hit two times. Greninja is actually really really strong and i can't wait to see the ash green ninja come out hopefully we'll be able to you know enable that very soon who is this guy chilling over here though what's up man they're a dragon type pokemon at the site of professor kakoi's trial they're all hiding though so you'll have to look for them and as i said there are going to be dragon type guys you know that i love dragon and fire types and if we're going to be finding some inside of these caves that is what i'm talking about i love going through this i'm having such a blast with this demo so far you know the, the little kid inside of me, you know, that you know, little guy that started playing Pokemon Yellow, he's freaking out right now because getting to see all these Pokemon in 3D, getting to see these islands that we're going to have the chance to explore, it makes me so happy that we're going to have the game coming out here in a month, and it's something that I just can't wait for. I've been preparing a lot for this Let's Play, so I hope that you guys will tune in. I'm going to be doing a 100% Let's Play of it. I'm going to be playing through all of it because I want to make sure that we can look through everything in this region. It looks like one of the craziest regions that we've had up to date. I wonder if we'll even be able to swim at some point. You know, we do have Surf, but I'm thinking if we could like walk inside of water a little bit maybe someday we'll have something like that and who is this when the eyes of pokemon trainers meet it is time to battle and that is what i like to do indeed if we're gonna go ahead and battle wait i thought we were battling her are we gonna have to battle that little guy okay so let's go ahead and see if we can battle this guy then i thought she was gonna be the scary trainer but it looks like it's gonna be the kid of course it's always like the 10 year old kid that's gonna be one of our strongest trainers to go up against so here we go guys rodri versus Whoever this kid is on this island, we're challenged by Youngster Honus. So let's go ahead and take on this guy then. And let's see what Pokemon... He's got a rock rough. Okay, so, so far... Oh my goodness! That is the cutest little puppy I've ever seen. Look at that little dog. Oh, wow. How could I not add that to my team? I love dogs. And see that little puppy is so cute. You know, finally getting the chance to see some of these Pokemon in-game is amazing. I know that there have been a lot of leaks and, you know, a lot of rumors is what the Pokemon are going to be like. And now we actually have our first look here. And, you know, we're actually going to have the chance to get to play with some of these Pokemon. Hopefully, we get the Pokemon Ball soon. So then we can actually begin catching some of these Pokemon. I'm going to make my Pokemon battle more so it can grow stronger and stronger. Let's go ahead and run through this grass, though, just to see what kind of Pokemon are in here. You never know. They said that there's going to be a lot of Dragon types hiding in side of this place so we could find it it's just gonna be a young goose okay so that's all there is gonna be around here it looks like so the demo isn't giving us up too much right now we've already battled a bunch of young goose so let's go ahead and go for another water shuriken then we'll be able to make our way inside of the cave also if you guys are enjoying this pokemon sun and moon special demo make sure you guys go ahead and give this video a big like as it definitely does help out and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe you know hit that button and uh, join the purple banditos we're gonna be having a really amazing time with pokemon sun and moon and i hope that you guys will definitely check it out okay with that let's go ahead and make our way up ahead then and whoa what is this place 10 carat hill so this is officially the place that we've been waiting to get to and i like how kokoi has a little pikachu with him hey there son i've been waiting for you let me explain the trial for you there's four Pokemon on 10 Carat Hill. Two are called Jang Moo and two are called Hak Moo. Your goal of my trial will be to photograph all of them. Yeah! Take this Pokefinder. You need it to take the pictures. 
Okay, so we're gonna be taking pictures. We got ourselves a Poke Finder. Now, I don't know if this is gonna be something with the 3DS. That would be really cool if you could, like, hold it up and take pictures. We're about to find out about that. My Pikachu's really strong, too. He's every bit as strong as your Greninja, so you can count on him to help you out with your trial. And awesome! They're going to be giving us a Pikachu, and it looks like trainers can just lend you out Pokemon here. I definitely like that. That is something that is pretty new to the game. Go find a Jangmo O first. There should be one hiding somewhere close by. So it looks like we have been given a Pikachu, Kakoi's Pikachu, and we're going to have to figure out these trials. So here we go. The trial has begun, ladies and gentlemen. Trials start. You sense this trace of Pokemon. Do you fire up the Pokemon Fighter? Heck yeah, let's fire it up. And let's see. I am going to be taking over... And I gotta tell you guys right now, you can move the camera all around by using the circle pad. It's always a good idea to try looking at the world from all kinds of different angles. And we're gonna press R to shoot. You know what? I feel good about this. This little guy. Oh, yeah. You know what, guys? I feel like a good photographer. You can also move your 3DS if you guys want to, you know, take a good picture of him. So, there's different ways to do it. Oh, he was startled. He started attacking us. Okay, guys. So, let's go ahead and battle the Pokemon we just took a picture of. And speaking of dragon types, we have Jangmo... Oh here so let's go ahead and see what we can do they said dragon types are gonna be all over the place so that this is what this guy looks to me if I you know it looks like a dragon type is probably a dragon type that's what I'm expecting for he looks like he has a little yellow heart on his forehead so I'll be looking forward to seeing what this guy evolves into oh my goodness we are going off right now we hit three times that's all you got to do Jang Mo oh go for a leer I'm looking forward to starting to build up a team too now that we're getting to see all the different Pokemon not all of them you know a handful of the Pokemon that are going to be in the region it gets you thinking about the team that you're going to build and I always try to build the best team possible. You guys always give me really good tips and comments of what team, you know, I should build, all that sort of thing. So I can't wait till we can begin picking that out and seeing what teammates are going to join us. You've successfully photographed one. Yeah. Sorry, there's one thing I forgot to mention. When you take a picture of a Jangmo, oh, it'll get started and attack you. What's more, they're dragon type Pokemon. Yeah. So they can be tough, scary opponents. You've got your Greninja and my Pikachu with you, though, so you should be fine. Just three more until you complete the trial. Have fun out there taking pictures. Okay, so we have three more that we need to take on in order to go for the trial. So I'm going to go ahead and switch things up then. We are going to go, oh, wow, Pikachu is level 40. That's great. That is really great. It has Thunderbolt, Slam, Growl, and Iron Tail. So, yeah, it was met around here. Apparently, you know, level 7, it's pretty strong. We'll have to figure out more about it once we get it going. It looks like it has static as well instead of the Battle Bond. So it's pretty cool to get to see that. I can't wait to learn more about that. It's going to be great to see how much customization there is to these pokemon the fact that they're each gonna have different little moves and all that sort of stuff how the heck oh, okay okay this is definitely a little bit different so i guess you have to press y now to switch them it's not just like selecting the pokemon that's probably a little bit easier because it was a pain so as i said quality of life updates there are things that you know i feel pokemon really needed back in the day i understand during the gen 1 why they had that but now we've advanced to the point where we have pokemon running around in 3d i think it's good to do these sorts of things so let's go ahead and fire up the poke finder and let's go ahead and check out what else we're gonna find in here Okay, why is there, uh, why is there no, po oh, there it is, there it is, I'm gonna take a good picture of this guy, let's wait for him to smile, you gonna smile for us, oh my goodness, I got it, I think I got a picture of him smiling, and let's see, with that guys, the Jeng Mo O oh is also gonna attack us, and as you guys heard, this is a dragon type, so really cool to get to see some of these dragon type Pokemon, I've always had a fascination for dragon types, I think it's for the sheer fact that, you know, there are some dragon types that are pseudo legendaries. And I got to tell you, I think it's really, really cool that dragon types can get up there and stand up to some of the big dogs. You know, legendaries are a little bit overpowered, a little bit OP once in a while. So to have some dragon types that can go up there and, you know, stand up to them. I definitely do like that. I've always been a big fan of Cynthia and her Garchomp as well. Whenever I watched the anime and I saw Cynthia and her Garchomp, I was like, dang, if I could be a Pokemon trainer in the Pokemon world, that's what I would want. Just a huge Pokemon to have alongside me as I made my way through the Pokemon world. So we caught, or we battled the second one. So let's go ahead and see if we can find where this third Pokemon is. Definitely a little bit, uh, you know, strange trials, something different, but also a lot of fun to check this out. I'm actually not too sure how long this demo is as well. So right now we're just checking out everything that we can. Oh my God. Wow. This one's fast. Oh, wow. Did I get it? I think I took a picture of that one. 
and okay there we go we definitely did because it started attacking us i am pretty sure that this is going to be the second evolution of this pokemon as well so hakamo o appeared and this looks a little bit scarier this pokemon looks like you know a dragon type the funny thing is if you guys have ever played digimon this actually looks like Growlmon. If you guys have ever played that game, it looks very, very close to it. Even the little circles on the paws, the little armor it has on there. I got to tell you, this Pokemon looks a lot like a Digimon. So, that, you know, got to have a little bit of fun with it as well. I like that, you know, we're getting a little bit closer to that. I think there were some really cool Digimon as well. So, we could, you know, oh, there we go. We hit the static. Throw in some Pokemon like that, I'd be all about it. I love seeing these different designs. It must be pretty difficult to come up with all these Pokemon at this point as well. I was thinking about it, and they've come up with so many of them that, of course, at some points, you know, you're going to end up seeing some noticeable, you know, comparisons, some noticeable similarities in these Pokemon to maybe, you know, some other little monsters in other games. Haka! Ka! Who is that? Okay, I think we have one more big boy coming guys and we are just about ready to see who the big boy is So I hope you guys are ready for it. Let's go ahead and make our way out of this cave then What is this area? This is absolutely beautiful This is probably one of the biggest open areas We've had the chance to see and we do sense a Pokemon So this is gonna be where the fourth and final Pokemon is going to be so let's go ahead and find where this big guy is Oh my goodness, look at that thing. I'm pretty sure that's just another one of the second stage ones, but I got a good picture of it. And uh, let's go ahead and see. You're taking some photos. You sure you want to give them up? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get closer to this Pokemon. Am I actually able to do that? When you're, z oh, when you're snapping them. So we are going to have to take a snap. Of course, it's not going to let me get that close to the Pokemon already. You know, it's not going to let me just walk right up to this guy. So we do have to take a better picture of him. So let's go ahead and see what kind of better picture we can take. What is this little switch thing here too? It looks like, okay, okay, let's see what we can do. Is he going to look at me over here? Are you going to just look at me or are we just going to take a random picture? And with that, I think I took a good enough picture. And oh boy, here we go, guys. We are about to get attacked by a Pokemon. Oh boy, he is huge. Here we go, guys. Rod reverses. Oh, big old dragon type. So let's go ahead and take on Totem Hakamo O. And this guy, what the fuck? Totem Hakamo O's aura flare to life. That is so awesome. I guess this Pokemon catches on fire. Wow. What the fudge is going on here today? We're going to go ahead and go for the Thunderbolt then. And let's see how much. That's not going to do a lot to this Pokemon. At least we did paralyze it. How amazing is this Pokemon? It's a totem. So maybe it has some sort of power? It called an ally Pokemon? What is going on? It called a Rockruff? Oh my goodness. I, I have no idea. This is amazing. This is so freaking amazing. I can't believe he actually called in an ally. This is like the coolest thing i've seen it's pretty much a boss battle and then he can go ahead and call himself some minions so it looks like maybe just maybe we'll finally have the chance to go up against more pokemon more wild pokemon that aren't just held by their trainers if that's what would happen i'm all about that if we get the chance to battle more you know random trainers out there kind of like in super mystery dungeon they're just spread all over the place i would be completely cool with that i think that would be really really awesome so i'm gonna have pikachu take down the little rock rough and then after that we're gonna go ahead and see if we can have our Greninja take down the Hakamo O. So let's go ahead and go for this then. That's going to take down the Rockruff. So at least Pikachu did a little bit. You know, Pikachu pulled through for us. And there we go. This guy is going to be going for the, uh, you know, power up. This guy is just trying to speed up. And let's go ahead and see what we can do. Now, I do feel like we could fight. And it's actually really cool that L plus A is the move info, by the way, guys. I think that's something that's really, really great. A lot of the time during battles, you can get a little confused. I know that I definitely do at times, so I like the fact that they went ahead and did that. All right, we're going to go ahead and switch out to Greninja then. And we're going to see if Greninja can take this guy on. And oh my goodness. Let's see what this guy has in store for us. Definitely looks like quite the rival for Greninja. Looks like someone Greninja should be ready to take on. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do here, guys. Let's see what the Water Shuriken's going to do to this guy. I'm just trying to, you know, try different things out. That was a crit. Oh, man. 
There we go. Little by little, we are slowly but surely knocking this guy down. It isn't very effective. You know, another one of the cool things that I notice about these Pokemon battles is that now, if you go to the moves, they do have super effective and that sort of thing on there. And that is something that is going to be a big help. I know that sometimes I do have difficulty in battles here and there. So, you know, once in a while, you got to pull that off. And there we go, guys. We have gone ahead and defeated the... Le I, don't know, I was going to say legendary, but it was just a totem... You know, so with that, guys, we gained some XP, and hopefully we'll get a little more information on what just happened, because that was definitely a little bit strange. I can't believe you beat the totem Pokemon, son! You and that team are awesome! Woo! It looks like two pictures of all four Pokemon, including the totem Pokemon. You cleared the trial. Congrats, son. I'll give you a Z-Ring as a present. Oh my goodness, guys. So with that, I hope you guys are ready because we slipped the zero, uh, the Z ring onto our wrist. And it looks like we are finally going to be able to mega evolve. One more thing. Take the Z crystal too. You know, we got the Z moves. We got all that crazy stuff coming. Oh man, we got the Electrium Z. There's going to be so much cool stuff to do. So once we've got a Z ring and a Z crystal, you can use really awesome Pokemon moves called Z moves. Now Z moves are pretty much special moves to Pokemon. You know, it's a little, you know, special fifth move, and I'm really excited about that. Well, you got a Z-Ring? I guess you cleared the trial, eh? Congratulations, I've got a trial for you too. Look over there. Oh boy, it looks like there's gonna be another trial here. It looks like we're about to try out our little, uh, you know, Z-Moves. So what do you guys say we go ahead and check this out? They're talking about a big sis, though. So who is this? Whoa! Who is she? I'm Plumeria, the team's go admin. So, your son, huh? Hmm, I guess you do look like a trainer who can get things done. Uh, Caesar, are you not gonna revenge on this numbskull for us? If you give up on us now, sis, it'll be adding insult to injury. I got this! Settling the score for my cute little henchman is part of my job! Don't sweat it, son. Pikachu can use Z-Power now, but you can only use it once in battle. Are you going to face off against her with Greninja's Water Shuriken, or are you going to do it with Pikachu, which can use Z-Power? Okay, guys, so we're going to have a little bit of a choice here. If you're going to give him advice, you better tell him how to deal with defeat. Wow, these guys are not messing around. So, I hope you guys are prepared. You really think you can take out my door Pokemon with your Z-Power? Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Plumeria. So, let's go ahead and take on... Ooh, Pumeria, who is with Team Skull. She is the big sis they've been talking about. So let's go ahead and see who she is. She's a Team Skull admin, Plumeria. So she's probably somebody that we will be seeing in game as we go. We just got a little bit more info here. Oh my goodness, she has a gold bat. We're going to go ahead and step this up then. We got Pikachu up ahead. We do now have our Z Crystal. So we are going to be able to go for the Z move, guys. And guess what we are going to do? We are going to, you know, hope for a little bit here. We're going to see if we can go for the Z power. And we're going to make it happen. Happen. so we're gonna go for the gigavolt havoc oh my goodness and here we go guys i feel like a power ranger power up do your move and here we go you know how power rangers have to do like these crazy moves and here we go pikachu surrounded itself with z power and we are ready for the full force c move gigavolt havoc and use it pikachu let's go ahead and go for that gigavolt havoc makes a oh my goodness okay this zubat is this gold bat this thing yep it's done there is no way that Pokemon was going to survive that. And there we go. Super effective. And the Pokemon has gone down. Yeah, I guess I just have to hold that loss. We received 43,000 for winning. And with that, guys, we have gone ahead and took down Plumeria. What did you say your name was, son? You're quite the trainer. You won't get off so easy next time, though. I hope you're looking forward to the next time we meet. You don't just get a Lola. You better be thankful to our sister to get easy on you. Okay, see you guys later. And these grunts are so weird. They're just like walking around this place in the creepiest fashion. But it looks like we did it, guys. What a great match, son. Woo. Pikachu, thanks for helping him out with that trial. Pikachu went back to Professor Kikoi. So there we have it, guys. Just like that, the Pokemon we battled, the Pokemon we, you know, borrowed is gone. You drew out the power of the Pokemon. Showed us the best moves you could. Yeah. Son, you're going to be a wonderful Pokemon trainer. I want to be an awesome trainer, too. Well, the two of you should both train up during your island challenge. Hey, son, now that you're finished with trial, I'll show you the way to the Malazada shop. Great idea. Yeah, as a welcome gift, it'll be my treat. 
Woo, let's bring Sun's mom too. All right, I'm about to eat every malasada in the shop. Okay, so it looks like malasada is going to be some delicious food. And I got to tell you guys, I love food myself. So, oh, man, if we're going to be eating, that is what I am talking about. And with that, guys, it looks like we have gone ahead and made our way to a little bit more of an intro here for Sun and Moon. Oh, my goodness. Look at all the Pokemon that we're going to be able to ride this is just absolutely amazing. There is going to be so much coming up, and I cannot wait for that. So, I hope you guys are excited for everything that is coming for Pokemon Sun and Moon, which is going to be, you know, happening very soon. It looks like that... More adventures are waiting for you in the full game. So it wasn't even that long. It looks like with that, we've gone ahead and done what we could here in the demo. It's going to be available November 18, 2016. Now, this is just part two of the demo. So if there are more things coming up in the demo, I'll definitely be checking them out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys go ahead and give this video a big like. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and join the Purple Banditos, because this is going to be an amazing adventure. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next part of the demo. Goodbye.